Welcome to the shop, Steve here at SKS Props, and in today's video, we're gonna be putting together some monster silhouettes for the window as a super easy Halloween decoration. I figured I'd go ahead and jump into some of the Halloween stuff because the retail stores already have. So with this guy, he was all freehand drawn onto some Bristol board, and then that was transferred onto some of my 10 millimeter HD foam. Now you guys, of course, could use cardboard or wood or anything else you would have laying around. It just so happens I have a bunch of foam laying around. I also made this cute little bat. And both of these are gonna be downloadable PDFs in case you wanna build either one of them. I wanna show you guys what it takes to put these together, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing to do is get out some Bristol board and measure out how big the monster needed to be for the window. I then started sketching out a simple monster. I didn't really have a plan going into this step, so I just selected elements that I thought would be cool as a silhouette. You know, fur, horns, teeth. Switching over to a Sharpie, I finalized the outline of the design and then cut that out using a utility knife. Now it is a simple design, but I did take into consideration the fact that I'd have to cut out all these shapes in 10 millimeter foam. I transferred my monster design onto my 10 millimeter HD foam using a pencil and then sharpened my utility knife before I got to work cutting it out. All the shapes were cut out by hand except the pupil of the eye where I used a drill. Now some of my cuts were a little rough so I took a smooth sanding drum on my Dremel and cleaned everything up. And once I determined the size of the monster was all good, I used a utility knife to cut out the rest of his fur. The creation of the bat silhouette was pretty much the same, but I had some design changes in the end. I took my basic template and transferred that onto some 10 millimeter HD foam and also cut it out. I switched over to a scalpel blade because the eyes and teeth details were so small, but I ended up not liking the teeth in the end, so I covered them up. Both pieces were spray painted and left to dry. I added some additional fur to the body of the bat. It doesn't matter that it's a separate piece because it's just a silhouette. So realize you can easily change your designs if necessary. I think both these creations turned out pretty cool, but what really sets them off is the backdrops and the lighting. This is achieved by using a crumpled up bed sheet for texture and some outdoor Halloween lighting. So you can see we're making a monster silhouette is a very easy process, but it's a really creative way for you to add custom decorations to your house for Halloween. Now, if you guys are enjoying these videos, be sure to give them a thumbs up, share them with your friends and family. And if you are building any of these builds, be sure to tag me at SKS Props on Twitter and Instagram because I want to see your creation. Until next time, thanks for stopping by.